what is going on youtube it is your boy mr meme today i'm here to show you guys how to stream on obs just simple settings you're just starting to stream you don't know exactly what to do there's other ways of streaming many ways of streaming but one way is obs as you guys do know the platform i will drop a link in the description guys if you need to download obs definitely go check it out in the link all right you can download for windows and you can download for mac all right now i don't think obs works as well for mac um currently they're not really suitable for macbook but there are other ways of doing um obs if you guys do need help with a macbook please comment it below i won't make the video unless i have a significant amount of comments um, asking for that video okay all right so let's get started uh right now i'm currently recording on my streaming pc and literally showing you guys on my gaming pc so don't think you need first of all you don't need two pcs you just need one okay you can stream on one um whether you have playstation whatever the case may be um you do however need an elgato capture card it can be a hd 60 it can be a, a hd a 4k um hd 60 pro if you're just streaming on one pc okay whether you're streaming playstation xbox okay now if you're streaming pc totally different you don't need an elgato capture card you just need the obs system however if you're streaming playstation or xbox you do need the elgato capture card now i'm going to show you my settings my simple settings that i would use if i were you um especially when it comes to internet speed bit rate a lot of people don't know about how to use bit rate and what processors you're running you may be running an i5 you may be running an i7 you may be running an i9 i9s obviously you can max your build out you don't have to worry about specs on obs you can just go crazy okay so let's get right into it let's show you guys real quick all right so when you're starting off with your obs what you want to definitely deal with is your settings okay um before you add any sources or anything like that you want to learn that i will show you guys in another video how to add sources to your obs i'm sure most of you guys do know how but the best settings for streaming on twitch on youtube will be explained here okay i will explain all of them here right now the so settings you're going to go right here to your general you don't need to really touch general general settings as far as general settings goes leave it at default there's nothing here to really touch much um especially on the output section um this is for more of the advanced usage uh, and i can show you what to use here if you do want to use any of these um so please comment that below as well all right first and foremost what you're going to want to do is to correlate with your bit rate guys you're going to want to go to google and you're going to want to type ptest.net and you're going to want to see what your upload speed is streaming has everything to do with upload speed nothing really to do with download speed okay so downloads are usually just download games stuff like that upload speed is what counts during play gameplay because it uploads your your movement your ping everything like that um and especially with streams upload speed is what you want to upload um when you're going to take your video and put it on the web want to put it on youtube you have to upload it so that's your upload speed it has nothing to do with download speed so download speed is just to download stuff to content to yourself so if you want to download anything on the internet that's what the download speed is for okay so let's get that out the way all right so if you have an upload speed of around let's say most people usually generally have upload speed of 10 megabytes per second so 10 mbps you'll see it here on the screen right now if you have that upload speed the best up the best bit rate for you should be 5000 now some people can push a little bit harder on their upload speed without messing it up um so yeah i, I mean you can go to 8 but usually they say the half is better if you're streaming on Twitch, it does not go more than 7,000 upload speed. If you're streaming on YouTube, however, and you want to stream like 4K, 60 frames per second, that's a lot of bit rate you're going to be using. It's around roughly from 15,000 to 24,000, I think the number was, the scale. But there's a scale on a website. You can just Google that and you'll find that scale. And that also I'll try to put down below in the description. All right. Um, but anyways, so if you want to stream on YouTube that high and you have crazy stats on your upload speed you can go past 10,000 
definitely do it if you need to stream on youtube now on twitch it doesn't matter i stream on 15k on twitch and it really doesn't matter um it just shows you the crispiness of it now i have a dual pc so usually a dual pc setup which means i have one i stream on and i have one i game on what encoder settings we're going to go right to the encoder settings for the instant encoder settings usually if you have a great pc or if you're streaming on a six core laptop anything a six core pc that has a good i5 i7 uh the latest generation i5 um or the latest generation i7 i wouldn't suggest you guys do anything below that um you can do x264 that's not a problem now if you do that you come with the understanding that it's going to be running straight processor power. It's not going to be doing anything off your graphics card. Um, and it's going to go straight off the processor, which means it's going to work the PC extra hard. Okay. So what I do is I go to N V E N C, which is just basically your graphics card and your processor. So two for your two cores for your graphics card, two cores for your processor. All right. Basically what it is, it, it breaks the workload in half basically. All right. So you're going to want to choose N V E N C or whatever it is. If you have an AMD instead of Intel, you can use that or RTX, GTX graphics card. If you have AMD, you'll see it here. It'll pop up here. Okay. Um, you want to enforce streaming service encoder settings all the time. Okay. So this is basically enforcing it throughout every aspect. So if you want to record, this is for all of these pretty much. If you want to record, it's pushing out these numbers. Okay. So as I said, the bit rate should keep it at 5,000. It changed when I changed over. Okay, so 5,000, if you have 10, K, uh, 10 megabytes per second, you want to put it at 5,000. Preset depends on what you're doing, okay? Now, if you're playing a game and you want to stream at high quality and you're streaming on the same PC or you're streaming on one PC, me, I would have to use low latency and high quality. Some people can use high quality only and be fine because it's directly going into their pc you're playing from that same pc you're perfectly fine you can use high quality as well if you have a capture card an elgato capture card all right so definitely use that for playstation and you can use it directly here it will plug in if you guys do not know how to use an elgato capture card i can help you with that as well okay there's that with the high quality and then you have a profile you want to always keep your profile at high okay do not put main a lot of people i've seen a lot of people put main but main doesn't really work uh main is it, it, it'll you'll see it in the streaming performance a lot of glitchiness will happen with the presets when it comes to that okay for the profile all right level you're gonna to want to put auto because you you don't know your level of what your pc is running at that very specific moment um so you just let leave it at auto let it do its own thing okay two pass encoding i leave it on on um, B frames, I leave it at two. GPU zero. You don't want to use any GPU on your PC. Okay. We're gonna go into here on our video as well. Um, so basically, when you're streaming, just basic simple streams, you're gonna just put on these two settings. Audio is already default, but but there is a but. Whatever audio you plug in, it's going to be as your mic auxiliary. You gotta make sure that this that audio is here. It's always here okay it'll pop up in this section here because it'll be your mic auxiliary but make sure that that on that area that audio is here as well okay desktop audio is basically what your elgato is capturing and it's going to transmit it to the desktop or through the obs if if you if, if for that matter you're going to want to put sample rate as high as possible it depends on if your pc or your mic can handle that okay so that's the sound your mic can possibly handle um check the settings in your mic you can look it up on the internet and check and see what sample rate is good for your mic okay it should have an option here to show you um on your sound preferences as well to show you there i won't take you through that because this is just simple settings all right so remember we have the output we have everything done set here. Do not worry about the rescale output because rescale output is not something very important. Um, now, when you go to your stream, I'm not going to show you guys my streaming encoder, um, but your streaming key here, you're going to want to take this from your YouTube or Twitch. Okay. You can have YouTube, Twitch. You can have even Mixer, Facebook, Live, Stream, IO. 
if you don't know how to do that just google how to find your stream key i will not show you guys that here because i don't want you guys to get obtaining my stream key i don't feel like changing it also all right and that is pretty much it guys if you have any questions please drop it in the comment section below and i will get to it as soon as possible i am one of those people that do answer <laughs> the messages okay i love you all man thank you so much for the support we are growing as a channel and if you need any more help and tips on obs i'm your boy mr me don't be afraid to contact me now i'm out peace